Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Unsleeve Media, MTG Headquarters, or just Jeremy. And we're going to take a very neutral approach to this. Um, the discussion will be why so many people dislike or even hate Jeremy to the extreme. And we will start with this guy. This guy is probably one of the people who hate Jeremy the most. He says, I'm just saying, be careful, man. You've shown your guns online. They know that you're armed. Don't want to see anything bad happen to you. He's talking to, talking about the police going to his apartment or his home. Uh, this guy has also posted satellite photos and very creepy gifs of uh, Jeremy's wife, which is you know, beyond insane. And he is still going. Uh, he's still going very strong. I, I mean, he's a magic player. It is. It's interesting. I don't. Interesting is not the word I want to use. I want to use a much stronger word. That's more aggressive. But I'll use interesting. It's interesting to see our community and see how divided it is, and just how much hatred there is for individuals. Jeremy says, I noticed you deleted Wisconsin Beard. That was probably wise. Good thing I know how to download videos from Twitter. This feels like a threat reported. This guy is really, really just out there. Um, and I'm pretty sure he lives in Houston. I'm almost certain that he does live in Houston. And it's kind of scary. Uh, I mean, it's one thing that he's focuses on MTG headquarters to the point that he's posting pictures of his wife. It's something else where he's saying, oh, I hope the police don't shoot you. Why is there so much hatred towards Jeremy? I think it comes down to the fact that Jeremy is on a war path. And he is taking no prisoners. Obviously, these uh, previous sexual predators are not appreciative of Jeremy calling them out article after article. I'm sure Wizard of the Coast is not appreciating what Jeremy is doing. And many members of the community dislike him, like Tolarian dislikes him. Uh, Tolarian has made a video on him. Wedge has been very open on Twitter, but has not made a video on Jeremy, how, how much he's disliked Jeremy. In the past, I downloaded an audio file, and the audio file kind of explains in more detail why Jeremy is so, such a divided figure, and it comes down to the fact that everyone wants subscribers, everyone wants money, everyone wants these same core concepts, but people are approaching how to get them differently. Okay. So back to this, uh, back to the reason that Jeremy may be receiving much more hatred than even Christine, much more hatred than Tolarian, and much more hatred than Weds over the you know, core issues the MTD drama has caused. A lot of what he says is very sarcastic and very he does not make apologies for saying it. And it can come off as overly aggressive. He is a smart individual and he has a full-time job that's not Magic the Gathering. And to my knowledge, he is a successful individual. These are things that people don't like. People don't naturally want you to be successful. They want to see you fail. Uh, as a business owner, I will tell you absolutely. Absolutely. Outside of my parents and my significant other and my obviously employees and vendors, I, I don't think anyone wants me, I mean my clients, I don't think anyone wants me to do well. And I'm going to tell you the story, and I saved this story for here because it's a very relevant story. I was bullied in middle school by a person, and let's just call them Ryan. That's not his real name, but it's close enough. 
let's call this person Ryan. So he bullied me in middle school. We were in the same geography. We had geography class. And he would make fun of the way I talked. And because I was one of very few Asians. There was only two other Asians in my school year, in my high school, out of 550 plus people. And he, you know, bullied me throughout middle school for playing magic and liking geeky stuff, reading manga and stuff like that. Then throughout high school, I became more aware of who, of, you know, benefits from being intelligent. So plus the fact that I wasn't never in his classes anymore because I was in AP classes, I was in seminar classes, which is like the step below AP, they don't have AP classes. And I never had to see him except lunchtime, but lunchtime he would always try to make me feel, uh, he would always try to belittle me and make fun of me. And when you would go to college, I actually became incredibly popular in college. I have told this story and many of you don't like the story because you don't like me gloating or bragging, but this is the truth. And to understand who I am and my point of view and why you know, why I react to certain things the way I react to, you have to understand that from being bullied to being one of the most popular kids on campus at NYU, it happened overnight. Like, it just happened. And I don't know. Maybe I was lucky. It's part luck and it's part meeting the right people and the really popular kids, really popular friends. And it's part the fact that I was a teaching assistant to 14 different classes and I was an orientation leader to 14 different groups. So I got to perform on stage pretty much every night. Uh, I had a comedy routine that wasn't really funny. And I had a dance routine that wasn't really great. But, you know, for like freshmen, they don't really care. They think it's amazing. They think everything is amazing because it's New York City. And then when I went to law school, I was the head of my fraternity, which is a pre it's a fraternity based on your GPA. So it's a pretty prestigious fraternity, if you will. Now, let's explain why all of this matters. I get a LinkedIn message from the guy, Ryan saying, and he recently had lost his job, saying that he wanted help. Do you think Ryan changed? Do you think Ryan got nicer? Do you think he got meaner? This was many years later. This was 10 years later, over 10 years later. He links in, he sends me a LinkedIn message and he wants to talk. He gives me his phone number and here is the reason that people don't may not like Jeremy and people don't like me. If you are doing well and if you are happy and if you are successful, people really, really don't like that. Especially if they bullied you when you were younger. Because to them, how could you be more successful than the bully, right? The bully had all every advantage over you. He was more athletic. He was more popular. He cannot understand that your traits, your intelligence, your hard work, your dedication is what eventually overtook him in time. Because things that are important in high school are not important in college. And there's there it is. Things that are important to this guy attacking Jeremy are not important to Jeremy. And things important to Jeremy are not important to this guy attacking Jeremy. And that is the dichotomy you have in our society. I can go on to a longer rant and to greater detail about my personal feelings on the issue. And it's again, it's my personal feelings, but that's what it is. I, he does not, this guy who's asking for help, he does not want to see me be successful. And in many ways, he is jealous of me being successful. This guy who's attacking Jeremy is jealous of Jeremy. Maybe because Jeremy has a large YouTube channel, maybe because Jeremy reaches a lot of people, but he is jealous of Jeremy. And the same way, the same that I can say in reverse and It comes down to a simple green little monster of jealousy and envy. 
you are envious of things that you don't have. But you should be grateful for the things you do. So my life is not perfect. On LinkedIn, it does seem kind of nice to live the way I'm living, but <laughs> I'll be frank with you, it's a lot of stress when the employees have kids and they have families and all of that is on your plate. I can't leave. I've been given many job offers and they've been very fantastic job offers, but I've stayed with this company because if I left, what would happen to my employees? What would happen to their families? One of them is eight and a half months pregnant. What would happen to her? And I know that if I left, the company would go down under, like within within a month, we would lose the majority of our clients because they talk to me, they call my cell phone. The things that seem perfect are never perfect, but people are envious of this quote perfection, of this success, right? But I would trade it all away. I would trade it all away. I'm not gonna tell you for what, but for something quite simple and something that some a lot of you have right now. Yeah, I probably would. Anyway, that's it. Bye.